गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस सी एस सी एन कर्व मैथड कर्व नंबर मैथड ऑफ एस्टिमेटिंग रन ऑफ वॉल्यूम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी गिव यू द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दिस वॉट इज़ योर एस सी एस सी एन मैथड इट इज़ डिवेलप्ड बाई सॉइल कंजर्वेशन सर्विसेज ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका In nineteen hundred and sixty nine, it is a very simple and predictable conceptual method of estimating direct run of depth. Okay, so it relies on only one parameter, which is called C N, that is curve number. So currently, it is well established method. It is having a very uh, wide acceptance in all over U S A and many other. countries also so now uh, i'll give you a basic theory of this method so now in the acs cn method it is uh, based on water balance equation of the rainfall uh, in a known interval of time that is delta t so which can be expressed as p is equal to pe plus ia plus f a okay so this is the equation we are using here now here in this in uh, uh we we will use a uh, basic assumption in this method that is the ratio of your actual retention in the catchment to the potential retention is equal to your actual run off to the potential run off okay so here in the figure uh you can see i have drawn a heatograph for a given storm duration say delta t so time is at x axis and the intensity of rainfall is at y axis okay so now what is pe pe is the excess rainfall after the initial losses and i a and f a are the losses okay now i a is your initial abstraction that is when rainfall occurs a uh, certain amount of rainfall gets absorbed into the ground uh, ground surface initially okay so suppose a uh, rainfall is occurring then when this rainfall reaches to ground surface some amount of water get absorbed by the ground surface initially this is called your initial abstraction after that with the increase in the duration of the storm the losses starts to decrease and we can see this loss curve descending in the figure in the given figure so here uh, this this curve i am talking about this curve this curve is descending as the time period is increasing okay so the loss that occurs right after the initial uh, abstraction is termed as the actual retention in the catchment okay so because this is the amount of the water that is uh, held by the ground surface now this this fa this is your initial abstraction and this is your uh, your in initial uh, sorry this is your actual retention in the catchment because this is the amount of the water which is held by the ground surface now after the initial abstraction now uh, also uh, we can differentiate if we want to differentiate ia from fa then we can differentiate it as when ia occurs there is no any contribution to your uh, run off and there is when fa gets satisfied run off starts automatically and with the increase in time fa starts to decrease okay fa is decreasing uh, with the uh, increase in the time duration so the run off is the effective rainfall represented in this figure so this is your effective rainfall this is the amount of the run off okay now uh, if we add pe ia and fe it will give us the total precipitation that is p is equal to pe plus ia plus 
एफ ए टोटल प्रेसिपिटेशन इक्वल टू इफेक्टिव रेनफॉल इनिशियल प्लस इनिशियल एब्सट्रेक्शन प्लस योर इनिशियल सॉरी रिटेंशन ऑफ द ग्राउंड ओके फॉर द गिवन स्ट्रॉन्ग नाउ हियर आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल दीज थिंग्स पी इज द टोटल डेप्थ ऑफ द प्रेसिपिटेशन ड्यूरिंग अ स्ट्रॉम एंड आई इज द इनिशियल एब्सट्रेक्शन बिफोर पॉन्डिंग सो वॉट इज बिफोर पॉन्डिंग बिफोर पॉन्डिंग मीन्स वैन द इनिशियल एब्सट्रेक्शन इज ए सेटिस्फाइड देर इज नो एनी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर द यू कैन सी हियर देर इज नो एनी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द इफेक्टिव रेनफॉल और रन ऑफ वैन आफ्टर 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 सर्टन ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द टाइम Uh, after the time passes for the given storm then uh, the losses after the satisfaction of the losses the runoff starts automatically okay now what is ponding it means that this is uh, this is the now this is the ponding which is occurring right now okay so at initial stage there is no any ponding action okay all of the amount uh, rainfall is getting absorbed by the ground surface now what is pe p is the excess precipitation that is the effective rainfall uh, as i have discussed and uh, fa is the depth of the water retained in the catchment now uh, from this figure it is quite clear that the runoff starts when losses get satisfied okay and these losses are directly dependent upon the catchment characteristics so uh, we can say for clay sand loam i and f will be different now another term uh, we are going to use here is s and it is the potential maximum retention in the catchment okay uh, here i have written here uh, s is the potential maximum retention in the catchment so uh, it means that the maximum possible retention capacity of the catchment of any storm of any time duration so it is also dependent on the catchment characteristics as i have discussed previously so now we'll uh, use the equation fa over s equal to pe minus uh, ia uh, this is the same ratio that we have assumed first uh, on which this whole theory is dependent that is actual retention to the potential retention is equal to your actual runoff to the potential runoff so here now uh, fa s and pe we have already discussed so now what is p minus ia p p minus i is the potential runoff here okay so this uh, potential runoff means uh, what is the maximum possible runoff that can take place in that catchment okay it is also dependent upon the catchment characteristics now uh if we just uh, now what pe minus uh, p minus i a is that uh, it means that we just subtract if we just subtract initial abstraction from precipitation whole of the precipitation for the given storm then what we get is your potential runoff or maximum possible runoff okay now we will use another equation here that we have already written so this uh, equation that is uh, fa over s divided uh, equal to pe over p minus a let us uh, this equation is 1 we'll use another equation that is p is equal to pe plus ia plus fa we have already discussed now combining these two equations uh here i have done uh at the right hand side of the page a little work for this uh, by combining the equations so from equation number 1 we can calculate fa as pes over p minus ia and from equation number 2 we can get calculate p uh, sorry fa as p minus pe over i uh, uh, ia okay so now uh, equating these equations pe over s divided by p minus ia equal to p minus pe minus ia we'll get a uh, final equation by rearranging this equation we'll get pe is equal to p minus ia square divided by p minus ia plus s let us uh, this equation is equation number 3 okay now so now 
uh, please uh, rearrange the equation by yourself now this is the basic equation for the computation of your depth of excess rainfall or the runoff okay so for a given storm by SCS method so this is the final equation that we are going to use okay now based on uh, certain experiments okay so, so we have done a lot of experiments for small catchments so uh, we are going to use a uh, another relation here that is i a is equal to 0.2 of s okay what is this it means that initial abstraction for any catchment is always uh 20 percent of your uh, s what is s s is the potential maximum retention okay potential or maximum retention these uh, this is obtained by uh, your experiments we have done a lot of experiments for this so we have uh, calculated the value of this i a as 0.2 s now putting this uh, value of i a in equation number 3 we will get p e is equal to p minus 0.2 s whole square divided by p plus 0.8 s okay so this is your scs method equation for calculation of your pe what is pe p is the depth depth of the rainfall okay uh, sorry depth of your uh, runoff runoff depth for a given uh, storm okay so here uh, there is another small concept that we are going to use in uh, there is a number which is called curve number as uh, the name uh, specifies this this method is scs cn method okay so scs is your what is your uh, scs scs is your soil conservation services and what is cn cn is your curve number so what is a curve number curve number is just a parameter which is uh, representing uh, your retention okay so uh, from this whole uh, concept of SCSCN so we can uh, uh, we can just uh, say that this whole method is dependent upon the characteristics of the soil and uh, characteristics of the catchment soil which is present in the catchment so what is curve number curve number is the parameter that represent the retention of the catchment so it depends upon uh, different types of your catchments it vary for the catchment catchment to catchments or in other terms we can say curve number is your perviousness of the catchment so by experiments we can directly use the equation s is equal to 1000 divided by cn minus 10 so <coughs> this is your uh, the equation which is used for cn okay now what is uh, 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 from this equation the value that we get cn uh, the value of cn uh, what is cn cn is a dimensionless number okay so we are going to use the value of cn uh, in this equation or we are going to calculate the value of cn from this equation so whatever is the problem now what is cn cn is the dimensionless number it's very uh, it's a uh, value varies from 0 to 100 okay now what is cn C, uh, if the value of cn is 100 then it is completely impervious uh, cashment and if the value of cn is 0 then it is completely pervious okay so uh, which actually uh, is not possible in real life okay uh, a complete pervious catchment is not possible so always the value of cn it uh, uh, depends it uh, lies between 0 to 100 for the calculations okay now <coughs> this uh, completely imperviousness or perviousness we can say that uh, for clay soils clay soil is uh, uh, very you know, impervious in nature so the value of cn will be higher okay and for sand soil the value of cn will be uh, lower so as the value of cn increases the perviousness of imperviousness of the catchment starts to increase okay 
now this uh, cn as we have uh, uh, as we are now very much clear that the cn is playing a very much important role in this scscn method of calculating the runoff depth now this cn it depends upon three uh, three uh, factors okay first one is your soil type second one is your land use or third one is your antecedent moisture condition okay so uh, here i'll uh, tell you a brief uh, briefly about this antecedent moisture condition so now what is soil type soil type means um, we have classified the soil into different uh, on the basis of hydrological uh, hydrological uh, basis uh, we have divided the soil into four groups flow classes we can say a b c or d uh, and uh, what are the important characteristics that uh, influence this hydrological classification is yes? your effective depth of the soil average clay content in the soil infiltration characteristics and permeability okay so we have divided into four groups that is a group a that is low runoff potential group b is your moderately low runoff potential and group c is your moderately high runoff potential and group d is your higher runoff potential okay so uh, this depends upon the type of the soil so uh, you can check it uh, from the book okay subramanya now uh, what i am going to discuss here is your antecedent moisture condition what is AMC, amc your amc is called uh, it, it is the moisture condition uh, moisture content which is present in the soil at the beginning of the rainfall uh, rainfall runoff event okay so if uh, there is any rainfall runoff event which is occurring uh, so then what will be your antecedent moisture condition so an antecedent uh, moisture condition will be the initial moisture content which is present at the beginning of the rainfall event okay so so it is well known that initial abstraction and infiltration are uh, very much governed by your amc so in this equation in the whole concept then we are using ia and your uh, losses so these losses are completely dependent upon amc that is antecedent moisture conditions so for uh, practical purpose we use three types of moisture conditions amcs that is amc1 amc2 and amc3 what is your amc1 amc1 is your, your dry condition amc2 is your normal condition and amc3 is your wet condition okay so these uh, values are given in your graph so you can check it uh, table number 5.5 .5 in k subramanya and you will see that if the total rainfall um, value uh, we we just uh, what is what is uh, much more important here is we just calculate uh, the uh, these uh, uh, moisture contents for previous five days rainfall okay we always uh, calculate it for previous five day uh, value uh, rainfall values okay and also we calculate it for dormant season and growing season differently so this is uh, uh, so depending upon these conditions amc1 amc2 and amc3 uh, we use different equations to calculate your uh, cn values that is curve numbers for uh, uh, curve numbers okay so i'll discuss uh, those all uh, things in uh, numerical problem in the next class okay so thank you so much